Ooh, nice wall. What's going on? So look, man, I know I haven't posted in a while. That's mostly because there is no like, you know, Walmart information out there. Um, and I barely had any thoughts for, like the last few weeks. But then I come across this one douchebag. And yes, I called him a douchebag. Cause this dude, it, it was uh I think it was in my last video where I said, um, do you like your job or something like that? And he was pretty much calling a lot of people whining, um, saying that folks should like, oh, well, you signed up for your eleven dollars an hour. So, you know, you get your pay raise when you get it, yada, yada, yada. And I was like, clearly this guy is on some kind of medication or maybe he's just one of those brown nosers who's always up managers behinds all the time. Like, I don't understand how people can think that way because. You see how short staff Walmart workers is. Well, how short staff Walmart is at, at most stores. And the workload that they put on the associates doesn't equal the pay that they get. But yet and still, he was still saying that I was whiny. I was complaining that I need to just STFU and, you know, do my job, yada, yada, yada. I'm one of those workers who um who calls out every week. And this is that and that there. I was like, I, you kind of hit the nail on the head as far as the calling out every week. I ain't gonna lie. I definitely was that guy. I was that guy because like I was super fed up with that place. You know, it, it really did annoy me. But that had nothing on my impact as far as like work wise. Like when I was there, I did show up. I mean, I did do what I was, do what I was supposed to do. I'm not gonna sit here and lie and say that I was there every day. A lot of us can not say that we, we've been there every day. Um. Like they push you to a point to where like they mentally drain you and you, you can say what you want at times, but at other times you could, you just got to know when to shut up. And it's those times that build up and build up and there, and the managers will keep pushing you and pushing you and pushing you until you break. My breaking point was just the calling out every week. You know, it was, it, it, it was, it was trash. Yeah, I know I put the strain on other people, yada, 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 but you know what? Like I said, you do what you got to do sometimes. You know, I'm not saying I, I didn't feel bad, but the point of the matter is, if that is the mentality of the upper managers, I mean, not the, the you know, the, the Walmart people, yada, 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 like that right there, it just shows you why Walmart is not going to change because of people like him. Like, I can't get to the comments now because I'm not, maybe he deleted them or whatever. But for some reason, I can't see him no more. But if the other managers are like that, then this is why this company will not grow. It will not be what it used to be back in the day because of mentalities like this. Like, you can't, I'm not saying that everybody deserves a raise. I know for a fact, like, there's a lot of people in there that, that does not deserve a raise because all they do is work one pallet, work two pallets the whole night, and then, oh, well, I'm done. I can't work no more. This is a lot. You get paid to do a job. You get paid to do it properly. All right? At the end of the day, like, I get it. Managers get you upset. But once again, you're at a you're at somebody else's workplace. You know, you got to do what they pay you to do. But I don't like the fact that uh, hardworking people get the same raise as the lazy people, that's not fair. I brought that point to him. He didn't want to hear it. But that 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 tunnel vision, that narrow mindedness, like people like that is why the company will not grow. Because they feel that everybody deserves one equal raise across the board because that's what they signed up for. Like I also signed up to be treated fairly too. Where's that part coming in? Like, why are you not enforcing? Hey, look, if you don't get your job done, you need to get out of here. Why is that not being done? Like, I'm pretty sure a lot more workers would be just a tad bit more happy if the lazy workers was working just as hard as them. But they can't be happy because that's not what's being enforced at the jobs. But hey, what do I know? As he say, I'm just a a, a lazy Walmart associate worker. Like, I'm, I'm just a lazy worker. I don't know what's going on. So, hey, it is what it is. But anyway, man, like. I like uh, I think I said this early in the video if I um I haven't posted because there was just really nothing to talk about. Um 
I hope you guys are having a, a like safe holidays, man. Make sure you're doing your thing, washing your hands, taking care of your bodies, you know, because of the whole COVID situation. And just try your best not to stress out as much as possible. You got the holidays coming up. You got, you know, Thanksgiving, Christmas. I'm sure some of you guys got some birthdays. You know, don't let COVID and work stress you guys out. You know, sit back, relax, chill, take a deep breath, enjoy the little bit of of uh, freedom you guys do have by going out to work. You know, and I get it. It can be rough, but, you know, just try your best. All right. If there's any if there's any information that pops up, best believe I will let you guys know, you know, as fast as I can with as much accurate information. Um, but until then, keep watching the rest of my videos, man. Hit the thumbs up for your boy till my next video. Nice squad. Deuces.